select your model, add a displacement modifier, click on new for the texture and go to the texture tab. Select cloud, adjust the values for size and depth, return to the modifier panel and set the strength to a very small number for now. So we are going to be using an empty object to control the texture. Add an empty object and name it control the wind displacement. Select the model again. For the texture coordinate, choose object. And now the empty controls the texture position. Select the empty and press I on the keyboard to add a frame. Go to the graph editor, select X location and add a generator modifier. Copy the modifier and paste it onto Y location. Let's reduce the speed slightly. Now the texture is continuously moving, so let's create a vertex group to apply the displacement only to specific vertices. Go to edit mode, select the vertexes you want to displace. In the data tab, add a new vertex group, click assign. In the displacement modifier, select the newly created vertex group. Review the strength and the textures parameters once more. I apply this effect to scanned models which are usually not rigged and have limited geometry so keep in mind that it might not work for all the models and you might need to change some of the values that I've just shown on this video. And that's pretty much it, with this simple trick we can bring a little bit more life to our models.